so good. And I hope today it will be a better day. Uh, you better knock on wood. Um, no, I don't believe in that stuff. Well, I guess your day will go terrible then. Whatever, I'll just hope not. Um, did you see that movie last night? Oh my gosh. <sighs> that was a close one. I found my tongue. Did you ever get your locker to open? No, I can never get the daggone thing one open. So many bad things have been happening to me today. I guess you were right this whole time. I've had so much bad luck today. I finally give in. Told you so. Today we're gonna bring you a lot of Friday the 13th isms. And now, on behalf of Friday the 13th, here's Lauren and Lauren with 10 bizarre beliefs from Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th Fanslings, I'm Lauren, and Lauren, with 10 bizarre beliefs about this unlucky day. If you have 13 letters in your name, you might want to lay low. Number two. If you need a haircut, you might want to wait until Saturday, because it is said if you cut your hair on Friday the 13th, someone you know will pass away. A child born on this day will be unlucky for life. Number four. People say that if you pass by a funeral procession on Friday the 13th, you will die. Number five. You should hold your breath while passing a cemetery to avoid bad luck. Number six. If you die with 12 others, then one of you will die within the year. Number seven. Most tall buildings miss out a 13th floor because of the bad luck associated with the number 13. Number 8. If you spin in a circle seven times, then your bad luck will be lifted. Number 9. People believe that getting out of bed on the same side every day will avoid bad luck. And number 10. If you get $6.66 change, you either want to buy something else or leave a penny from your change to avoid bad luck. And now for this day in history with Kyra and Michaela. On Friday the 13th. In this day in history, there are many scary myths of creepy things happening on the Friday the 13th. Yeah, I really heard bad things I've been having on Friday the 13th. Sounds like the beginning of time. Oh yeah, the Aztec Empire fell on Friday the 13th. Also, Uganda rugby team plane crash on the 13th, 1972. Not even that long ago on Friday the 13th, a teen received the shock of his life when he was struck by lightning. In 1939, one of the deadliest natural disasters happened in Australia. A bushfire burned through the whole town of Victoria, taking down several buildings and homes. On July 13, 1951, the Great Kansas Flood, the river rose 14.8 feet above the flood stage. This flood came as the biggest ever recorded. On November 13, 1970, the Bola Cyclone struck Bangladesh, killing 300,000 people. It was a Category 3 hurricane. In 1970, the hip-hop rapper Tupac Shakur was gunned down in Las Vegas. The Master of Suspense Alfred Hitchcock was born on August Friday 13, 1899. He, was, he also died on August Friday 13, 1999. On January 13, 2012, a cruise ship, Costa Concordia, struck a reef, killing 32 people. Oh my gosh, I hope nothing happens to me. <laughs> and now, 13 Sports Superstitions with Colby. Good morning, on this Friday the 13th, I'm going to give you 13 sports superstitions. Number 13, if you're on a good hitting streak in baseball, don't wash your socks. Number 12, if you make a diving catch during a baseball game, run around circles five times before the next hit. Number 11, if you don't make any errors for three games in a row, always be the last person to get on and get off the bus. Number 10, if your team has two outs during the last inning of the game, chant two out rally before each pitch to get the streak going. Number nine, 
If your team is having a hitting streak, put your hat, put your hat on backwards and inside out to make sure they keep hitting. Number eight, if you've ever pitched a perfect game in baseball, be sure to never take your socks off until the next game. Number seven, if, you're score, if you score a touchdown during a football game, be sure to do a 15 push-ups after the touchdown to keep the touchdowns going. Number seven, if you score a goal in soccer, wear those same cleats for the rest of the season and never change them. Number six, in any sports, never wear the number 13 or you won't have a good season until you change your number. Number five, if you play tennis, be sure to never change your socks throughout the seasonal games. Number four, if you're a wrestler, be sure to watch three wrestling movies the night before every match. Number three, if you want to have a good game in football, be sure to get dressed one hour and 30 minutes before the game so that you won't make any mistakes throughout the game. Number two, if you swim, be sure to eat a meal two hours before the meet so that you won't throw up in the pool. Number one, it is important for a baseball game to never step on the line. This is Colby Cross with your 13 Sports Superstitions. Friday 13th has been long regarded as an unlucky day. Should we be on our guard or this all just superstitious nonsense? Thank you.